Welcome everybody to the conclusion of this series. Hopefully you've enjoyed this 100 part series. Now this is the 100th video, so uh, I should probably, you know, conclude and say my goodbyes and say how proud I am. But all I'm going to tell you guys is that you need to continue working because we did not cover enough material in this series. Yeah, I know, there's always more to study, so do enjoy the progress you've made, but there's a lot of other things that you could pick up that would help your development. So here are some things you might wanna consider. One, now that you understand the JavaScript basics, start learning some more advanced stuff. So go study the event loop and how the pages are constructed and how the browsers work with them. All that boring technical junk, you can go learn that stuff if you're interested. I would also really recommend trying to master a framework. Now, just so you guys know, there's a new framework about every two and a half seconds. <laughs> so you need to just pick one that you think is going to persist for at least a, a couple of days. So maybe go with the most popular ones and the ones that are rising in popularity. So right now, React is a big thing, but by the time I upload this, it'll probably be obsolete. Um, so React, there's Angular, which I think React has kind of taken over Angular. There's also Vue. So those are the three big ones right now. And with that, that allows you to build single page applications very easily. It allows you to create more sophisticated applications. On top of learning the frameworks, I would learn some backend. So if you want to try Node.js, that's the backend version of JavaScript, which will allow you to basically take requests from a web browser, do some backend processing and return some data. So that's a really good thing if you want to make some more complex applications versus just a front-end application. I'd also consider learning a database, so you might want to check out MongoDB. That's just a recommendation, but you can pretty much use anything, but I do have a video on MongoDB if you want to go check that out. Now, one thing I was hoping to get to but didn't quite cover in this video was classes. Obviously, this is a big part of JavaScript, especially if you go into React, that's all they use. But constructors are really the fundamental piece to that. So if you understand the constructors, learning the classes is more just learning the syntax. The result is going to be the same. So go check out classes inside of JavaScript and go master those. The next thing I would try to learn is a little bit more with working with APIs. So doing API calls inside of JavaScript, learning how to do things asynchronously and working with promises. There's pretty much a never ending field of things you can study in that. So you can go do that. And other than that, the only advice I would have is to just have fun. Um, yeah, it's a pleasure having the honor teaching you this stuff and I, I hope it was helpful. If you guys are interested, I will consider doing other series based around JavaScript. So whether it's an advanced JavaScript or maybe just a, a little piece of JavaScript in more depth or maybe going into some of these frameworks. So what I would like for you guys to do is to leave a comment in the comment section saying what you liked about this series and what you'd like to see more of. Now, I do want to give special thank you to Dev Mountain for sponsoring this series. It really means a lot to me when a company goes out of their way to one, help a content creator, and two, give back to the community by providing videos like these through content creation. So go check out Dev Mountain. They've been a tremendous help. And honestly, a lot of people have had really good success with their coding bootcamp, so go check that out. And just in case you want to see the ad one last time, here you go. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? Dev Mountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through Dev Mountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, Dev Mountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. Please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next series. Peace out.